Hi friends, welcome back to GHK Right Diet by Dr. Teji Sana, PhD in Nutrition from India. I love my pasta. Yes, you heard it right. I love pasta because it is always delicious, it is nutritious, it is quick to cook, it is versatile. I make it as nutritious as possible. My family can have it anytime they want because they love the way I make it. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how can you make your pasta more healthy and believe me, no nutritionist will stop you to have pasta if you make it in a nutritious way. So I'll be sharing few facts about pasta. So pasta, there are of two varieties. One is dried pasta and the other one is fresh pasta. Both dried and fresh pasta come in a number of shapes and varieties with 310 specific forms for over more than 1300 documented names. Were you aware of this? Earlier, pasta was made only with uh, refined flour, wheat flour, but now Pastas are, are made uh, looking at the need and the health uh, part. Uh, pasta is made with rice flour, legumes, durum wheat, whole wheat pasta. And you know, they are customized as per needs. And now you can get pasta which is, which is gluten free also. Pasta, a cooked pasta, uh, making and low in fat with moderate amount of manganese. But remember that pasta are generally low in micronutrient content. So what can be done? So on commercial level, for, uh, pastas are enriched or fortified and are made with whole grains. Sharing with you a few tips how to make pasta healthy at your home. Number one, uh, do not add too much salt to your pasta. You need to add salt only when it is boiling, but do not add when you are making pasta. So number two, for one bowl of pasta, for one bowl of cooked pasta, you need to have two bowls of vegetables. So that will balance out all the deficiencies that a pasta has and you'll have a very healthy pasta. Be very selective while selecting the sauces with the pasta and what are what is going along with the pasta. That means the side dishes and the drinks. Try avoiding alcohol with the pasta. So how do I make white sauce at home for these pasta? What I do is that I replace butter with a teaspoon of refined oil and refined butter flour is replaced by whole wheat flour and you can trust me, believe me, nobody can tell the difference between a refined flour pasta, refined flour sauce and sauce made with whole uh, grain. That means whole wheat grain, uh, nobody can tell the difference. You can add another also, that means you can add maize flour also. You can add teff also it. It doesn't taste uh, change the taste or color of the pasta. I try to make my pasta very colorful in incorporating all the different kind of colors to my pasta. Like if the pasta is uh, white in color, white sauce, then you have broccoli which is green in color. You add zucchini which is yellow in color. If you have zucchini with uh, the peel on, you straight away add two colors. You can add um, beetroot, you can add carrot, you can have uh, eggplants to it. And uh, you can add your tomatoes also, which will make it very colorful and it always will always attract uh, children. Pesto pasta is also a very healthy option where you have green colored pasta, which is made with spinach, celery and then you add these basil leaves to it but so it makes uh, the pasta very healthy it, it is very important to keep portion size in check and pick only healthy toppings for your pasta uh, few examples of healthy pasta can be whole wheat spaghetti with salmon lemon and basil you can have vegetable baked with ziti uh, pasta salad with feta olives, tomatoes and kale and then you can have spinach, avocado sauce and chicken in it. Take home message for my video is moderation is key when it comes to pasta. Remember one bowl of boiled pasta with two bowls of vegetables in it will make it more healthy 
more nutritious and will not let you gain weight if you keep eat it in moderation try avoiding having garlic bread which is high in salt and cheese alongside avoid having uh, cold drinks with it you can have a milkshake or a fresh juice which is unsweetened along with your pasta soup also goes well with pasta so next time whenever you are having pasta do remember me and try to follow all these tips पास्ता बनाने का सोच रही थी तो एक क्विक टिप आपके साथ शेयर करती हूँ पास्ता बनाते समय तो जब भी आप कोई भी पास्ता बनाए बीट मक्रोनी बीट पहने उसको उबालते समय उसमें नमक जरूर डालें ठीक है ये नमक ऑल दो वॉश आउट हो जाएगा बट जो पास्ता में नमक आता है बॉईल करते समय वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है उसके फाइनल टेस्ट के लिए नंबर वन सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट टिप वो ये है कि जब आप बोलते हैं कि उसमें पास्ता में आप ऑयल डाल दीजिए सोडा डे डोंट स्टिक टूगेदर तो मैं क्या करती हूँ जब आप छानने लगे हैं पास्ता को उस समय आप तेल डालिए जब पानी ठंडा हो चुका होता है और उस समय आप तेल डालिए देन यू गिव इट अ बिग टॉस फटाफट से टॉस कीजिए फिर पानी निकाल दीजिए तो ऐसा करके आपका जो तेल है वो पानी के साथ बह नहीं जाएगा और वो अच्छे से पास्ता पे लग जाएगा पास्ता चिपकेगा नहीं एक दूसरे से हेल्थी गार्लिक मशरूम सॉस पास्ता गार्लिक मशरूम ग्रीन कैप्सिकम Broccoli, pasta, freshly prepared white sauce, herbs, salt and black pepper. Best for weight watchers. High in fiber. Good for growing kids. Yummy and tasty. Very healthy.